Hello everybody, welcome to Sanana Mitindo. We are here for yet another episode where we're going to be featuring another amazing author on our new series of Kenya's Finest Authors. And today, in the building, we have none other than Buana Josh. So Josh is a music minister. He sings. But also he is an author of an amazing book by the name of Destiny Achievers. So you will get to know his story and when he started writing and apart from that uh, what motivates him even as a writer and as, as an author. So stay put, don't touch that dial and yes, let's dive in and get to meet our guest today. Josh Karimbu Sanapa Show. Thank you so much. Yes, we are yes. excited to have you. I'm also happy to be here today. Yes, yes. So maybe someone is watching you for the very first time and they don't yes. know who you are. You uh -huh. can kindly introduce yourself and what you do. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Joshua Betty. Uh, I'm Kenyan. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I'm, a, I'm a Christian yeah. and um, I'm a husband to one wife. Uh, father to one child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. So you can tell us more about yourself, Josh. Where mm -hmm. did you grow up? Mm -hmm. And where did you go to primary, maybe high school? Okay. Yes. I grew up in Western Kenya. That's where I hail from. Mm -hmm. um, I attended St. Peter's Munyas Boys Primary. Mm -hmm. Then after I went to Musingo High School. Mm -hmm. Then I uh, went to the University of Nairobi, mm. where I studied economics, mm. yes. Mm. And thereafter, um, I, I, I shortly worked in the real estate uh, sector prior to my joining the Highway of Holiness Ministries, mm -hmm. where I served as, an, uh, as a ministry assistant mm. yeah, in the music department, the mm. prayer department, mm. so, yeah. So that is, that is where you serve? Yeah, that's where I served. Okay. Yes. Nataka kupeleka nyuma kidogo. Kidogo to. Okay. Uh, how was life in primary for you and how was life in high school? Did you always know you were an author <laughs> or you were going to write this amazing book? <laughs> okay. Uh, I knew I was creative. <laughs> yeah, I could tell from my writings, but uh, I never, I had never, it never came so powerful that one day I'll author whatever mm. books and all that. Mm. Those, those ideas will come, but I will ignore them. Mm -hmm. I remember first, uh, I, I was still in primary and I was like, maybe I should write a book about money. At primary? <laughs> oh, that is nice. Mm -hmm. But uh, I ignored it mm -hmm. because at that time uh, I wasn't so much exposed, you see. Okay. Yeah, so I let go the idea then. Mm -hmm. uh, same to high school. I could have ideas of uh, maybe you could jot down some poetry mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. But I never gave that much attention because I had other dreams. Mm -hmm. I had other dreams that I uh, was seriously mm -hmm. pursuing. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes. So, so basically it's something which you always had it in you. Yeah, it, it, it was in me. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah. So from primary... Uh, and then Okaingia High School, you still didn't pursue it. Okaingia mm. Campus, you still didn't write. And, uh, so at what point did you ra start writing? Before? Okay, uh, in um, at campus, <laughs> um, I began giving it so much attention because now I was so intentional in writing poetry. Mm -hmm. Whenever the ideas would come, I'd mm -hmm. sit down and write. I had mm -hmm. I, I got a, a book, mm -hmm. so I would write them. Some I would save them on my email. Mm -hmm. But now, writing a book, it was mm -hmm. after campus. After campus. Yeah, just mm -hmm. a few months after campus. Mm -hmm. uh, it, I think it was after my Bible study, so I was sharing with a friend of mine mm -hmm. uh, about what God was teaching me. <laughs> 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 because baby boss probably is the one who had the idea of the, the idea book. Of the book. Person. Yeah. Uh -huh. So... Mm. Uh, he, he's a friend, he's my cousin, he's mm -hmm. called uh, uh, Fanuel, he's mm -hmm. a pastor, Pastor Fanuel de Messi. So sharing what the Holy Spirit was inspiring me. Yes. But in the midst of the conversation, I was mm. like, no, this is a book. Mm. This is a book. So mm. immediately after that, I went to my house and I began... Writing. writing, I began. So the ideas were flowing precept by precept. Um, and 
that's basically how I came up with my first book. Mm-hmm. It's titled Kingdom and Forces. Kingdom and Forces. Yeah, that one. Um, it's only available on soft copy. At okay. The moment, yes. Mm. You have yeah. not yet published. I've not yet. Uh, I believe we'll be sharing the link. Take yes. it below. You'll send us a link so yes, that we'll be able to share. It. Yes. What did you study in campus? I studied the economics. <laughs> economics. <laughs> economics and kingdom. Uh, what have you said in the book? Uh, Kingdom and Forces. Kingdom and Forces and Economics. Where Zina <laughs> have you always been? Uh, w- w- how? What is the inspiration behind the book? Because now that you have studied economics, what is really what? What was your what was your drive while you were writing the book? What agenda were you trying to uh, put across? Okay, mm. the book has got nothing to do with what I studied in campus. Yes. Um, that first book is basically about uh, the lifestyle of a Christian okay. from the point of getting born again, mm-hmm. and uh, it's uh, it points towards one serving the purpose and fulfilling their destinies mm-hmm. in God. Mm-hmm. Actually, most of my writings are about destiny. Mm-hmm. So, from the word kingdom and forces, mm-hmm. uh, we as the children of God. Yes. We are ambassadors of heaven here on earth, and yes. we have a kingly mandate. Mm. We have a priestly mandate, and we also have a kingly mandate yes. uh, to serve the purpose of God here on earth. Mm. And uh, it is not an easy ride. Mm-hmm. That's why the Bible says that the kingdom of God mm. suffers violence, mm. and only violent men take it by force. Amen. So, violent men. Yeah, take it mm. by force. So. Mm. We belong to the kingdom of heaven. Yes. So we must align our our lives with uh, we, we must align our lives with what is written in in our books of destinies and be able to enforce it here on earth mm-hmm. as it is in heaven. Mm-hmm. That the kingdom of God, His will, His purposes will be established not only in our lives but also in our spheres of influence. Amen. Yes. Amen, amen. Yeah, yeah. So that was your first book, Kingdom and Forces. Kingdom and Forces. Then, when did you write Destiny Achievers? This is your, I believe this is your latest book. Yeah, this is But you have another one before this one. Uh, this, 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 this is the latest. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, I think it was just within the same window space of time, mm-hmm. immediately after Kingdom and Forces, I began writing Destiny Achievers. Still in campus? No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. That was after campus. After Both campus. books are wrote after campus. Okay. Yeah, yes. Mm-hmm. So uh, this book, mm. uh, we can talk about it. Don't yeah. feel free to open it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, the, the the inspiration mm. basically goes uh, goes down to destiny. So okay. As the title said, "Destiny Achievers, mm-hmm. Driven by Purpose." Yes. If you are going to fulfill your destiny here on earth, then mm. you must be a purpose-driven mm. uh, person. Yes. Everyone has a purpose. Mm. Uh, when God created you, when he created me, yes. he gave each one of us an, ass- an assignment mm. to fulfill here on earth. Yes. And it is in us fulfilling that assignment that mm. uh, we serve his purpose mm. and ultimately fulfilling destiny. Amen. Yes. Mm. So you find that that, that there are many children of God, Mm. there are many children of God who are not living a purpose driven life. Mm. And um, allow me to say this that uh, you can never fulfill destiny outside God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first point of one fulfilling their destiny is giving their lives to Jesus. Mm. And uh, This is just a welcome call, an invitation to my viewer. If you've never given your life to Jesus, now is your time of salvation. It's the best decision Mm. you can ever make. And Mm. I I mean, I can assure you that you will never regret it. Mm. It's uh, it's a decision that will align your life Mm. with the purposes of God uh, concerning you for the few days you have here on earth. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yeah. You can tell us more about your book. In yeah. the context, there's, there's one, there's a particular place that I really love, mm-hmm. uh, chapter 7. Okay. It talks about laziness, a killer disease. <laughs> for me, I'm really, my heart really beats for um, a purpose. 
Yeah. That's why I love, re- I really love this book. But one thing about the, the that chapter which stands out for me mm-hmm. is the fact that you are addressing laziness, mm-hmm. and that laziness can affect someone's. Uh, uh, someone's ability to live in purpose, mm-hmm. and many people don't understand that. We have so many young people who are in the wanna wanna chill to wanna relax to, and mm-hmm. they want everything to fall into place. Yeah. So, what's your take on that? Or maybe you can just shed some light on that particular chapter. Yeah. Yes. Um, the chapter the, the chapter is titled "Laziness a Killer Disease." Mm. You see, it's not only enough to know your purpose here mm-hmm. on earth. Yes. But you must be intentional mm-hmm. to put your hands on work. Yes. And um, I mean, you, you really must be intentional. Very th- intentional. Th- th- things don't <laughs> just happen. Yes. You must put your hands to it so that mm-hmm. it works. Mm-hmm. Someone once said that, um, uh, they, they, it's a popular saying that says, think out, outside the box. Mm-hmm. But personally, I would say, think within the box. Mm-hmm then act outside the box. Mm. So why would I say think within the box? Uh, That is, uh, have a self-introspection. I mean, what is it that God has given you? What has he put in your hands? Mm -hmm. You have talent. Mm. You have your gifts. Mm -hmm. And uh, in your relationship with God, God will always give you divine ideas Mm -hmm. on various things mm. to solve issues, problems of man and all that. Mm. So what are you doing with your gifts? What are you doing with your talents? What are you doing with the ideas that God has given you? Mm-hmm. So how can it be of benefit to you? How can it be of benefit to human society? Mm-hmm. So once you are awake to the reality of the the the, the uh, the talents and go- uh, gifts God has given you, yes. then you, you, you have to step out and begin to work on them. Mm. Grow yourself, mm-hmm. seek knowledge, seek information, mm. and uh, it's in uh, growing in the gift that opportunities will come knocking at your door. Growing in the gift. Yeah, you really have to grow in your gift because... Mm. Uh, I mean, we are human beings. Nobody wants mediocre stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You really must be good at what what, what God has given you. Yes. That's what the world will celebrate. Mm. Yes. Mm. If if you are a footballer, if you're really sure that that's what God has given you, then mm. work on it. If you are a musician, mm. work on it. Mm. If you are a teacher, mm. do your best. If if you are a medic, mm. do your best. And it is in pursuing your talent, mm. your gifts, mm. that you will serve uh, the purpose of God here on earth. Amen. You see, every man mm-hmm. is born with a seed of greatness in them, Amen. but very few manifest the greatness. Yeah. Only them that Gosh. work mm. on it will manifest the greatness. Mm. Every man is born rich, mm. rich in terms of the talents and gifts God has given mm. the divine ideas God has, has locked up in your spirit. Mm. But very few will manifest the richness in terms of wealth, tangible wealth. Mm. Very few because they choose mm. to work on that which God has put in them. Mm. So if you are really going to fulfill your destiny, then uh, you can't afford to be lazy. You really must, you must work. work. You must put in the work. Mm. It's God, God had to work. God, 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 our, our God is mm. <laughs> hard working. You see... <laughs> Uh, the, 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 I mean, I mean uh, in, the, in the book of Genesis from chapter 1, and he begins the work of creation and yes. all that, uh, before he comes to finish, say that whatever he had created was good, that goodness was already in him. Mm-hmm. But for that goodness to manifest, he had to speak and, mm-hmm. and create everything mm-hmm. that was in his heart mm-hmm. and that's how the goodness manifested. Amen, yes. amen, amen. I am already inspired. I don't know whether you should go on with the show, but we need <laughs> people to be inspired more. Yes. So you can t- you, maybe you can talk about this, this aspect. Um, what does it take for one to be a good writer? Because it is not just anyone. 
you know for <laughs> everyone who can yeah. write yeah because we have we have so many people who might be having that small skill maybe to write mm-hmm. poems mm-hmm. but you are able to develop and work on your gift from writing poems back in primary and high school into now writing a whole book so what do you do what would you say it takes for one to be a good writer number one mm-hmm. it's a, it's a, it's a talent it's a gift yes and uh as just i've said you really have to work mm-hmm. on on your gift and your talent yes. so number two mm-hmm. you really have to read you have to read you, are, you really you really have to read a lot mm-hmm. Uh, read a lot. You really have to read a lot from other different authors. Mm-hmm. Personally, I remember I used to love reading newspapers <laughs> oh, <laughs> when nice. I was in primary. So uh, my dad would buy newspapers uh, not because he wants to read, but he would bring them to and, and to give me. Wow. So I would read, and uh, I was not reading to to I mean to find out what is happening in the country. You know, I was specifically reading to get vocal. <laughs> vocabulary no wonder your english is <laughs> so i was specifically nice. read to get vocabularies uh-huh. and all that and i remember at some points i would get books huh? mm. uh, books uh, by the likes of um uh, Ngugi wa Thiongo mm. we have this peseta series of books yes and uh, i will literally cram paragraphs <laughs> jeez <laughs> Oh my god. So my intention was I mean I mean when a paragraph uh, will capture me uh, uh, for example this uh, writer has described a particular event mm. uh, probably it was uh, an accident scene or uh, a celebration he's capturing a mood so I was like I need to get this. Mm. So I will literally cr- I will cram chunks and chunks from different wow. places. Wow. Sometimes I'm amazed. You mean I will do that? Mm. <laughs> that is really good. Eh? And um, I will get some, so many English literature materials, mm-hmm. grammar materials, mm. uh, just to improve on my vocabulary. Mm. And uh, years later on, mm. I, I could not see the uh the result there and then but mm. years later on mm. i realized the thing that i will uh, i will be studying five years ago seven years ago mm. they became part and parcel of me Yourself. yeah of me wow. so and that would manifest in my speaking and in my writing mm. see sometimes you write and you're like am i am i the one who really wrote this? <laughs> 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 yes mm. and also for a christian writer or author you really must develop a relationship or your relationship with god with the holy spirit mm. because your writing most of your writings mm. will draw inspiration from the word of god mm. and the holy spirit will be inspiring you mm. quite a lot on mm. various aspects so you really have to develop your relationship with god then the other thing whatever inspiration you get write it down just write it down and keep it mm. get a book write down if you have a computer type on the computer save them somewhere mm. sometimes later you find that whatever you had written at uh, sometimes back mm. will fit in a particular place for example if you are writing a book mm. this book destiny achievers mm-hmm. uh, quite a number of the articles i wrote while i was in campus mm. found found a place here mm. yeah so that's what i would tell anyone who is a writer Oh, you nice. really must be diligent at it. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Now I understand why your English is so sharp and clear. And re- yeah. <laughs> See, to me, I guess I, I was a big fan while in high school for pesetas, mm-hmm. but I don't think I, I read more than 15. But mm-hmm. I loved them. Mm-hmm. I would sit down and within like a day, I would read one mm-hmm. because I can't sleep. They mm-hmm. are very captivating. captivating. They were so captivating. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm glad I have someone who we <laughs> loved literature together with. Mm-hmm. So basically reading and researching is also one vital. Uh, read, you really have to read. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really okay. Read okay. Yeah. Let's go to the next question. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I would want you to shed light on maybe some of the people you have looked up to mm-hmm. as far as writing is concerned. Maybe in Kenya mm-hmm. or maybe beyond Kenya mm-hmm. and uh, with your style of writing because I believe your style of writing is not really inclined into now the set books and maybe the pesetas that yes. you used to read back then. Mm-hmm. So who are some of the people maybe who you look up to in your style of writing? Uh, my style of writing, I'll, <laughs> here in Kenya, 
Not really, mm. but beyond? Uh, but uh, mm. beyond that, uh, the late Miles Monroe. The late Miles Monroe. And I think there's so much uh, I sh uh, I I've learned from him, mm -hmm. given that also most of his teachings were inclined towards uh, inspiring people to live a purposeful life mm -hmm. in order for them to achieve their destiny. Mm. So I'll say I draw so much from him. Mm. Yeah. But here in Kenya I can say my inspiration mm. is uh, uh though we don't share the same kind of content mm -hmm. and all that, but Ngugi Wathiongo mm. by the fact that his literature mm. has gone beyond the boundaries of Kenya. Yes. He's an international figure. Mm. And um you see we are living in a society where people have not so much impressed reading the reading mm. culture. Mm. But it's amazing that one of our own mm. is calling shots yes. on a global oh. level. Okay. On a global level. And mm. that really inspires me. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So uh, I, I would want you to maybe tell us maybe some of the challenges we experienced. Mm. Was it just a walk in the park? publishing, the, your journey of publishing, yeah. maybe your first book or maybe your second book. Mm -hmm. How was it for you while publishing the book? Did you struggle? Did you know the right people to be able to do it? Mm -hmm. What was the process like mm -hmm. from the writing and now down to the publishing? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it wasn't an easy walk in the park. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, most of our publishers around, uh, for someone who is beginning, okay, let me say from uh, from my perspective mm -hmm. at the individual level, mm -hmm. it was quite expensive mm -hmm. uh, getting these well-established publishers to do your work. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other thing, we don't have many Christian publishers. Mm -hmm. So you have a Christian literature, you can't give it to a secular publisher. Mm -hmm. there's, the, the, there's something that they will not you will not be able to connect. Yes. So... Personally, I really had to do personal publishing, yeah. so I had to research what do I need to do. Mm. So I registered a name mm. with the uh, government it's, uh, called Eden Image Publishing House. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I registered. I mean, uh, I registered that uh, business name mm. and I uh, also registered with the Kenya National Library as a publisher. Mm. And uh, I employed professional services wow. to work on my book. So I got people to help with the editing mm -hmm. and uh, I got people to do the in design of the book. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but for, and also the cover. Mm -hmm. So I employ those services, you pay them. Mm -hmm. And so with the Kenya Library, you're able to get the ISBN code, mm -hmm. the ISBN code. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So that's how I began, and that was quite affordable mm -hmm. on my side. Okay. That was quite affordable. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, that's how. That's how I so basically, Baraka Kiamua Leo and Andika Kitabu, I can come to you. Yes, and your company I, I will. will I'll, pub me. I'll publish it for you. Oh, nice! So. That is really, really <laughs> nice. I, 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 thank, I, I, I'm really, I'm really excited by the fact that you didn't take a no for an answer and you went ahead and created a way for yourself. Yeah, if 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 you are really if you, if you are really convinced that this path God has for you. Mm. Never take a no for an answer. Just mm. push through mm. against all odds. Mm. There is a way. Mm. Uh, the Swahili people say, Palipo, pas, palipo Nania? Pananjia. <laughs> Pananjia. <laughs> uh, Pananjia. So, I mean, the, there is a way. Yeah. There is a way. As long as there is a path. If you are determined, mm. if you are determined, mm. there is a way for you. Mm. Yes. I want us to wrap up the show with something simple. It's it's a pop quiz. These are just basic questions about you. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one. What yeah. is your favorite food? Oh, my favorite food. 
I think uh, chicken, uh-huh. chicken, chicken and ugali. Chicken and ugali, of course, <laughs> from Boston. <laughs> chicken and ugali. Number two, your favorite gospel artist in uh, Kenya. Uh, here in Kenya. Yes, or oh, maybe beyond Kenya. Okay, mm-hmm. beyond Kenya, I was saying Nathaniel Bessie. Nathaniel Bessie. Yes, yeah, yeah. here in Kenya. Um, Uh, I'm thinking. <laughs> I think that, that's a, there's several that I borrow leaf from. We have Sarah K. Hey, hey, nice. We have Sarah K. I, I, I love her music. Yeah. Uh, as well as Akaya. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Number two. Uh-huh. Favorite mobile phone application, you know, to me, Asana Sai. Asana Sai is a hey. King James Bible. Hey. Yes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's new. But uh, we are supposed to go to our next one, which uh, is favorite book. What is your favorite book or what is the last book you have read? The last book I've read mm. um The Unbeatable Power in a 40 Days Prayer Fast mm-hmm. by, by by Apostle Julia Subi. Okay. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I I guess I need to get that one. Do you have any <laughs> other thing that you love doing? A hobby, an activity that you love doing apart from the writing bit? From what the, was Sidani wewe tu ni writer? Ni writer. Yes. I'm also a musician. Mm-hmm. I play piano, I play guitar. Ouch. Uh, yes, and uh, I write music. Mm-hmm. Uh, I sing, I'm a worship leader. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nice. That you are so many things. Uh-huh. Favorite pet. And have you ever had a pet? Well, I don't like pets. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Pets <laughs> I think from the time I was uh, young uh-huh. I, grew, I grew up don't like I just don't You don't like pets. pets. I don't love pets. <laughs> <laughs> so you can give us your parting shot maybe an encouragement or maybe you can appreciate maybe some of the people who have supported you in your journey of writing or just anything or an inspiration to the young people out there. Mm. Yes. Uh, first of all I will appreciate my my wife Mm. Her name is Clarice. Mm. <laughs> yes. Mm. Uh she chose to work this uh, journey towards fulfilling destiny with me and uh, I greatly appreciate mm. that. And uh I thank God also for my son Nathaniel. Mm. His name is Nathaniel. Like you met Nathaniel. Uh, Nathaniel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is an inspiration to me. Amen. And I was thank God for my parents who raised me in the fear of the Lord. They Amen. brought me up in church and uh, I've walked in that feet. Mm. And I really thank God for that Christian background mm. that I have. Mm. I thank God for my spiritual parents, mm. Sister Apostle Julia Subi, mm. Reverend Martha, mm. and um I thank God for the schools that I attended. Mm. God used those schools to to nourish me, mm. uh to build on my capabilities, my abilities and that's why mm. I am able to do what I'm doing today. Mm. Mm. And um Uh, a word to my listeners to those who are watching us today mm. your destiny is possible with god all things are possible mm. never give up on the uh the, the plan of god for your life mm-hmm. and you know many people will say that uh, i have a dream i'm pursuing mm. but i will ask you a question is it god's dream wow. God wants you to live for his dream mm. and that's what he wants you to pursue. Living for God's dream is living for I mean living for his purpose mm. and that's what will result in you fulfilling your destiny. Mm. When uh, I mean one day we will all stand before God mm. and we will give an account of how we spend Amen. our time here on earth. Mm. So what will be your story then? Mm-hmm. What will you say concerning the gifts and the talents God has given you? Mm-hmm. Because I can tell you that people right now mm-hmm. who are doing well mm-hmm. in the wrong assignment. Yes. Uh, and uh their what inspires them is just to and are living God I mean it's mediocrity mm-hmm. to live to live to just and are living. Mm-hmm. God wants us to have an impact that is beyond us. Look beyond you. Mm-hmm. God wants us to have an impact that is beyond us and that is in living a purposeful life. Mm-hmm. What are you doing with your talents? What are you doing with, doing with your gifts? Mm-hmm. Where you are at the moment, you could be a teacher, you could be a doctor, you could be 
a preacher are you fulfilling destiny mm -hmm. are you convinced beyond a shadow of doubt yeah. that you are fulfilling mm -hmm. destiny are you fulfilling destiny i mm -hmm. guess that will be our takeaway home today <laughs> and thank you so much for coming to the show you're most welcome uh, your book is amazing Thank can you, you. Can just let us know where we can find the book how can we be able to get the book okay mm. the book is is available on amazon.com just mm. search the name joshua betty that's b-e-t-i joshua betty mm. uh it's also it's also available on jumia mm. uh, and uh, nuria.com mm. those are the online platforms you okay. can find the book mm. but still you can uh, f uh you can order it direct from me mm. you can call me on the number 0727 771 you can also find me on social media uh, on facebook the name joshua betty uh, the same with instagram joshua betty uh, on youtube Joshua Betty. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Asante and sana. Wish for sana. And thank Asante. you. Thank you for giving me a copy. At least I have <laughs> I have a copy here <laughs> or you can find his books where he has told you you can find them and it was an amazing show. Make sure you get your copy and see you next Wednesday on another amazing show as we talk to another amazing author here on Sanana Mitindo for me today Barack Arios. Mm.